Hi, Duncan Firth here, owner and director of Solaray Architecture. This is the first episode of the Sunpath series, which is going to be a series of videos looking at my architecture work and what makes my house designs uniquely environmental. In this first episode, we are going to look at the Pahi House located in Pahi, Kaipara Harbour, west side of Northland, New Zealand. The 81 square metre four person family house is elevated 50 metres above the Kaipara Harbour with primary views to the west and direct northern exposure with good solar gain to the north. It was awarded the 2021 Grand Overall Winner of the 13th Annual Green Home of the Year Awards by the USA Green Dollar Magazine. In this episode, I'm going to cover key design strategies which distinguish this project as an award-winning green home. The house had to work on two axes, an east to west axis for optimised west views of the Kaipara Harbour and room layouts, and then a north to south axis for maximised seasonal sun path, optimum winter sunlight exposure into living areas, and northern pedestrian and vehicle access to the house. This prioritised western views, seasonal and northern sunlight, and living areas. The orientation then drove the architectural folding roof shapes, which draw your line of attention down towards the western views of the Kaipara Harbour. The house sits elevated above the site, reflecting the natural slopes so as to observe the surrounding environment a bit like a lived in observation platform. Roof shapes open to the north sunlight and flood the house with all year round natural light, with strategic window placement for reduced western solar gain, views, and natural airflow. Keeping the floor plan size down on any project reduces resources, building costs and is always a more sustainable option. More is more and less is more sustainable. The four person, two and a half bedroom house has a floor print of 81 square metres with the north facing 19 square metre deck. Keeping the building footprint to a minimum was always going to be the greatest sustainable design attribute of the house. How the house design responds to seasonal sun part will ultimately determine the house is consistently naturally warm and healthy to live in, or cold in winter, or overheats in summer. The house layout is prioritised for maximum northern sunlight exposure to living areas with large, expansive slider doors optimising sunlight in north outdoor living areas. The outdoor living space has been left open in order to further flood the house with sunlight. In order to reduce the hot boxing effect to the west, or overexposure to low angled afternoon and western sunlight. Specific views were selected for two large two meter by two meter windows and then vertical narrow windows, reducing western solar exposure and overheating. Determining seasonal wind direction sets the house up for natural airflow during summer and the protection of outdoor living spaces from cold wind. The house is protected from northeast summer winds a hill essentially buffers the summer winds while the house is exposed to cold southwest wind. Warm in winter and cool in summer. It sounds very simple, it's hard to achieve, and most New Zealand houses are unable to do it. By designing a house which is able to respond to seasonal climate differences, we can better naturally warm a house over winter using sunlight combined with a good insulation strategy. In some instances, we do need backup heating. This usually happens in extreme cold snaps. During summer, the house is shaded from excessive exposure to sunlight through specific roof overhang design and strategic window placement for cross ventilation and stack effect. Large sliding stacker doors open the house to north sunlight, outdoor living and natural cool airflow. Air tightness is particularly important over winter. What we want to do is keep warm air inside the house. Insulated panels, airtight windows, seals and racks help to achieve this. Other additional sustainable features include rainwater collection with a capacity of 40,000 litres. This safeguards against fire and drought. Wormerator waste system for sewage, upcycled reaming flooring and a robust metal cladding system for longevity and fire resistance. A lot of the time at the heart of successful design is a collaboration spirit between the clients and the designers. This, in my view, is when really good design happens. Ideas can easily flow back and forth and are developed in the process. Certain environmental design principles were always a given in this project. Reduced building footprint, some path relationship, energy efficient design, and natural ventilation. For the Pahi house, it was a combination of architectural ideas driven by roof shape and form, 
relationship to site and environmental design. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.